Hi and welcome to Steam Powered Family. Today we're making a piggy bank project that includes a simple machine mechanism called a lever. Here you can see our piggy bank at work. All you do is press the button at the top, put your coins on the tongue, and it'll fall into the piggy bank. And if you look at the back of our piggy bank, we have a nice convenient little portal where you can open it up and get your money back out when you need it. So this is how the inside of our piggy bank works. We're using a lever simple machine and as you can see, it works around a central fulcrum. So we're going to gather up our supplies. The templates are available free of charge on the Steam Powered Family website. So we're going to print those out, cut them out, and then we're going to be tracing them onto our cardboard. And here you can see where we've cut them all out and then trace them onto our cardboard piece. And then we need to take some plastic bottle caps. These are from just like little juice bottles, milk bottles, that sort of thing. And you want to get a trace of the inside of the size of your bottle cap. And there we go. We've cut out all of our pieces. Now we're going to just cut out our circles from the insides of our bottle caps. You can do this with scissors or an X-Acto knife as we're showing here. Whatever is more convenient for you. And now we've opened up a piece of cardboard so we've got the rough edge and this is going to be the lip on the edge of our tongue. You don't need to do this. You could use a smooth piece. It is completely up to you. We just thought the ridges looked a little bit uh, more fun on our piece. So we're measuring it out to 1.5 centimeters. So we create that nice little lip around the tongue that'll hold the coins. Now we're going to top, cut the top off of our bottle. So again, this is the one that had the cap. And we want to grab those threads because that's what's going to go on the back of our piggy bank to hold our cap in place so we can just screw it on and off and easily access our money. Now make sure that those cardboard pieces are marked and this is the back piece and we're just going to trace our bottle cap and then cut out the hole. And this will be, as I said, our access point for the money. Now we're going to put together the lever. So as you notice, we have two bottle caps. At the top, we have our push mechanism and one cap will be going on there. And we just need to line it with some cardboard pieces. And we're just going to glue those into place. You may need two pieces or three pieces. It depends on the size of your cap, but you just want to fill it up. Now we're going to start our assembly. So first we're going to glue a couple of pieces together here to make our tongue. And as you can see, we've got the dots across there and that is our fulcrum point. We're going to take a skewer and just put it through and make sure we've got a nice hole going all the way through. And then we're going to tape on or glue on our edging to create the lip of our tongue. And this is important because we don't want our coins to fall off of the tongue. We only want them to slide through into our piggy bank. And then just trim off any extra and glue it in. There we go. So that is the tongue finished. And now we're going to put the skewer through the fulcrum point to create our lever. And remember, the lever functions just like a seesaw. So when we push on one side, the other side goes up. And when one side goes down, the other side goes up. Now, this is the front of our piggy bank and the tongue is going to go through the little hole that we've made and we're going to push our skewer all the way through so that we've got our fulcrum point and the tongue should move very easily and simply and smoothly through there. Perfect. Now we're just going to put a little dab of glue in there just to hold everything in place. And now it's time to assemble the box of our piggy bank. So again, it's really handy to make sure that all those pieces are labeled so we can put it all together in the right order. And we're going to put the bottom on here. There we go. Now, before we glue that top into place, we need to measure out where we're going to put our push mechanism. We want it right in the middle. We're going to put a little skewer through there make our hole and now we can glue it into place. 
And as you can see, our, for our box, we're making a 3D cube. Go, and then we're going to glue the front in place. There we go. Make sure everything lines up, and there you go. You can see how our tongue is sitting in there. Now, we're going to take our skewer and push it through. Make sure that we can get it through there. Make sure the hole is nice and loose so it'll move freely. We're going to trim off that pointy bit, and then we're going to measure it. Go, make sure everything's moving smoothly, and then we're going to glue it to the back of the tongue. And remember, this is going to be our push button, so when we push it, our uh, lever will move and our money will fall into our piggy bank. So we've added a little spring here. This is a spring from a pen. So if you've got an old pen, you can just grab that spring and that'll allow our button to pop back up after we've pushed it. And we're going to glue the cap into place. And there we go. And that finishes our mechanism for our simple machine called a lever that is going to be the functioning point and the interactive point of our piggy bank. Now we can close up the box. We're just using a little tool here just to get everything nice and tight. There we go. Push our button and look at that. Our simple machine works. So now we're going to add the uh, threading from the top of the bottle to the back of the box, glue it into place, and then all we need to do is screw on the cap, and there we go. Our piggy bank is done. Now it's ready for decorating. So in our uh, template, printable templates, we have some designs you can use. You can also absolutely make all your own. We've included colored as well as ones that you can color your safe, yourself. And we've got different uh, ones that you can use to make different designs. But again, you can decorate this however you want. You can make it into any different type of animal you wanted. You could actually make it into a little pig for your piggy bank if you wanted. But we've made ours into a little boy here. And there's the little face. And then we're just going to go and paint it to finish it. Oh, and we're going to add a few little feet on the bottom. You don't need to do this step. It's completely up to you. We thought it looked really cute to add a few little beads to the bottom as feet for our piggy bank. There we go. So test it out. Put some money in. And there we go. Push the button and our money all slides right into our piggy bank. So our little simple machine works perfectly for our interactive piggy bank. Shake it out and there you go. We can get all our money out whenever we need it. This simple machine project is great for to do with your elementary age students and you can find this and more STEM activities at steampoweredfamily.com. Have a great day!